Welcome to the Unique Mums podcast. My name is Anna and I'm a wife, mum, author, blogger and Jesus follower, bringing you biblical truth, devotions and encouragement so you can find joy, purpose and hope as you navigate through motherhood, one cold cup of coffee at a time. You can find the episode show notes, the free devotional, and a lot more information at uniquemums.co.uk. This is episode number three in the Resting God devotional series in the Unique Mums podcast. Hello mums, I hope you're doing well today and I'm going to jump right in. So today's focus verse is, this is what the Lord says. Stand at the crossroads and look, ask for the ancient paths, ask where the good way is and walk in it and you will find rest for your souls. Jeremiah 6 verse 16. So in the world there's a constant focus on self uh, and I don't know if you notice that but I certainly do and with social media maybe even more so. So there's uh, this constant focus on self and people doing things that make them happy. And unfortunately, even within Christian circles, it's also common to see this thing about God being there to serve us. So there's an emphasis on self instead of God. So it's all about how God is going to fulfill your dreams, how God is going to use you, how God is going to favor you. So usually the message is that if you have enough faith, God will fulfill all your dreams. Now, when I was a less mature Christian, I don't know if this happened to you, but it certainly happens with me. Uh, Whenever I read the Bible and I read those verses that said, um, well, addressed like the person with you, I used to think that that was for me directly. So I didn't realize that those Bible verses weren't actually about me. It was only a lot later that I realized that although those verses were applicable to me, the Bible wasn't ultimately about me. So it was about God and his will and his goodness and his holiness. I also came to see that God wasn't some kind of genie in the bottle that if I rubbed the right way, I would get my every wish fulfillment. So I came to realize that God is sovereign and he's good and holy and that sometimes his will is different from mine but it produces righteousness and deep satisfaction and also true joy. So sometimes the things that I want for myself aren't the best things, but what he wants for me is always the best. Now this verse in Jeremiah is interesting because it points out that true rest is actually found in surrender to God's will. It's about asking God what his good way is and then just walking in it. So when we go after our own desires, we get stressed because we don't know the big picture and sometimes our desires are wrong. But when we surrender to God's will, we know we we can rest because he's sovereign and he can see the big picture, he can see the end from the beginning. And because he's good and we have this assurance that he's going to cause all things to work together for our good and his glory, we can be really at rest. Okay, so now for the questions for reflection. So the first one is, are there certain situations that you're trying to control, perhaps even in relation to your children, instead of asking God for his will? And what truths about God do you need to remind yourself of to help you give up control and surrender to him? Okay, so now I'm going to pray and I invite you to pray along with me to listen to the prayer and read it if you're on the blog and to pray along with me. So the prayer is, Lord God, forgive me for when I try to control my life instead of surrendering to your will. Help me read and meditate on scripture so that I can learn your pleasing will for me in my life. Help me to surrender my children to you instead of believing I need to be in control. May I find rest in your sovereignty, holiness and faithfulness. Help me teach my children to also surrender to you. Amen. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope this devotion blessed you as usual. And yes, I really hope you have a blessed day and I'll be praying for you. And yes, that you would be able to discern God's will for your life and walk in it and find true rest in him. Before you go, 
Please let me know how you're doing with the devotions. Please send me a message on Instagram or Facebook or on my website as well if you like and tell me how you're doing. And also, if you would like to do some more devotions, uh, I have a free ebook which is actually available on Amazon and Kobo and Nook and many other ebook reader platforms, which is called Beautiful Truth, a 21 day devotional for mothers. And yes, it's a free ebook, so you can check it out. I have links on my website and on my social media as well if you would like that free ebook devotional. So that's it for now. Thank you for listening. And yes, I'll speak to you next time.